We go in litter picking. Yes, litter picking. Um, there's not such a huge amount because it's holiday time and the considerable number of uh, people, dare I say students, walking up and down here is uh, less. Next week it might be a bit different. But uh, I know there's a bit of litter, so a couple of things to do today. Uh, one thing I'm going to do is obviously pick up the litter and two... I am going to try and give you some information about how you can get hold of some of this stuff. I mean, this could cost me 30 quid if I bought it off uh, the local retailer, Amazon. Hi! <laughs> uh, but you can get this from the council. I'll just double check with that and who you might uh, ring and who you might ask. Hang on, first bit of litter. Let's stop and pick it up. Um, and the other thing I'm going to do is have a chat with the people over the road there at the Chase uh, because you might be able to see they have they've trimmed the hedge back because it was getting overgrown but it's revealed all the litter particularly over there that's in the hedge so I'm wondering if they can come and pick that up Because it all helps. The less litter there is, the fewer items there are, then it discourages people from dropping any more. I should do quite well up to now, but I, I have walked up and down um, and driven past, and there are some items of litter down here, so let's press on. Now, I could swear there was a lot more litter, so I don't know whether I'm disappointed. Well, here's the thing. Um, there's a box packet here with, look, some labels, unopened. There's about six of these in a box. And uh, they've just been dumped. They're labels, sort of sticky labels that you'd put in the machine or some sort. Not, well, I don't know what that is all about. Um, I'm by the uh, big wooden fence next to the culvert, the flood defence thing, which is reasonably full. See my previous video for more details. Uh, I'm proud to uh, not announce, but to mention again that this sign was put here by the council on my suggestion. I don't know what effect it's had. But um, I'm just wondering if it's ten, uh, sorry, a hundred pound fine for dropping litter. What is the reward for picking it up? Don't know. I'm still negotiating it. I'm afraid I'm not le leaning into the garden a little. But look at all these thorn bushes. There's lots of litter, which will be difficult to get out, to be honest. But um, I'll leave that one to the establishment. Well, I, I just <laughs> saw this. I thought, oh, it's a piece of litter, brown cardboard. It's not, it's a fungus. Oh. Well, here we are the empty point. There's not such a lot there this time. I'm going to empty it out in the bag. And uh, there might be some other stuff on the way back. <clears throat> Not too bad. Let me talk you through an idea I've got. And uh, I've got a nice uh, little slogan. Lone litter pickers. Lone litter pickers. Lone litter pickers. 
not easy to say. Lone litter pickers. That's us, me. So, if you want to pick up litter, like this, and I've seen a number of people doing this, actually. Um, not so many around here, but uh, in other parts on my travels, <clears throat> people out and about picking up litter on their own. And I think that's a good idea, because we do go out in groups from the Keep and Neat and Tidy Facebook page. And that's a good thing. But that needs organising and everybody getting together. Whereas if you can just find the time and the weather's good, just get out and have a go. Loose cigarette bag. So if you want to uh, pick up litter, and why not? But it is a good thing to do. So um, if you want to have a go and pick up litter around your area, as a lone litter picker, then so much the better. Right, here we are at the chase, and here's the um, look. That's what I'm talking about. And the hedge is quite full of it. Look, there's loads of it. And, uh, and, uh, so, I'll try my most diplomatic approach and see if I can go into the chase, the front door's open, and have a word with somebody and see if they can, uh, if they're going to pay any attention to all that litter. Oh, there's a bloke. Hiya. Hi, sir. Hi, um, are either of you managers? Uh, I am the assistant manager. Jolly good. Um, I'm actually recording this for okay. YouTube. I'm a litter picker. Oh, right, okay. As you can see. Yeah. Been up and down the road. Actually, it's been a bit disappointed there's no litter. <laughs> I think somebody's been ahead of me and doing, doing the job. I mean, Hyam's quite a clean, clean area. Really it's down. not bad, although there is more when the, the college are in. Yes. And yes. Uh, they've been out for a couple of weeks. So. Yeah. yeah. Um, I see you've had your hedge cut. That's yes. nice. It's exposed a hell of a lot of litter in your um, in the hedge. Yes, there's a lot. Is that is that going to be dealt with? Uh, yes. Yeah. We, we we have a grounds team that come out and do. Oh right, good. Because yeah. um, I've got a theory. You see that uh, if there's no litter, yeah, well, you know, minimal, then one more piece is a hundred percent more. Yeah. Whereas if there's a lot of it, then now oh, what the hell? One more bit ain't going to matter. Yeah. So it's part. That's part of the, the reason. But yeah. yeah, if that's going to be dealt with, that'd yeah, be brilliant. Yeah. yeah, I mean, we we and then uh, so we have a ground team that look after the, the grounds of the yeah, the sure, and stuff. sure. Um, and then our and then the, we have a team inside that actually go around the exterior of the building. Yeah, because you're always going to you can have a concentration of people. All, oh yeah, one hundred percent. Because it's a fine pub. Yeah, I just live down the road. We've been here many times. Yeah, and it's uh, it's the place to be. Yeah. So uh, yeah, is that is that going to happen soon? Do you know? Yes. Yeah. Right. Good. Thank you very much. No problem Can you. I tell me your name? My name's Matt. Matt. My name's Mary. You're good people. Thank you very much. <laughs> okay, thanks a lot. Well, I think that went well. Let's <laughs> very nice, very pleasant, very reasonable. Let's see if um, it works and it happens. Oh, I'm going to try me five times quick. You might well be thinking, what's this got to do with the price of fish or litter picking? Nothing at all. It's just that my new phone, which I'm doing all this filming with today, uh, an iPhone 15, has got a five times magnification. And it's very good. I really like it. So that's what this is. That's nice. There's three of them. One, two, three. Now, quite a way off. And I must say, the camera, it's not doing badly. Well, they have it. Finished. That's uh, for, for all this in. So, if you uh, like, want to lift the pick and want some of this equipment, get in touch with the council. So here's the number. Um, they're very good, actually, um, I found. So, uh, don't be shy. And with a bit of luck, 
and uh, I'm going to talk to them again as soon as I can and uh, see if they will uh, be quite happy for people to ring in and get some equipment like this so you can do your own personal litter kit. On behalf of Lone Litter Pickers, thanks for watching and uh, you'll see me next time. Okay, bye bye.